first child wrench here and I'm back again for another week and this week we are trying out another bad habit palette and this is the bad habit solstice palette you saw me try the supernova one previously but obviously um, if you haven't I will link that in the description box or the card at the top top i'll link it at the card at the top so you guys can go and find it if you haven't seen that already um but this is obviously as you can see by the look on my face and the title this is me trying out for the first time and uh doing a little makeup look with the bad habit solstice palette um really love these palettes they are so 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 super pigmented uh you literally barely need to touch these colors and then that is what you get i'll just rub my fingers in just some of these shades so you guys can see just from one touch that is the sort of thing that you get color payout wise from these palettes so that is li literally one swipe insane color insane i absolutely love them i have loved playing with them they are just they're just really easy to work with um i have nothing bad to say i mean there's a little tiny bit of fallout when you do touch some of the colors and obviously the more metallic shades like the golds uh and the burnt oranges that you can see here and here and here um, you do have to sort of press them on carefully they do they're not I wouldn't say chunky I don't know how the, the way to describe it is they're really creamy but at the same time they can be a little bit chunky but they're just obviously you'll see in the look in a minute they're really easy to apply they're just and the pigment is just boom it's there you know you don't need to touch the palette much to get what you want out of it i created this look i just wanted to try out a load of the colors like so you'll see me try quite a few of the colors to create this look because i just wanted to see you know what went where and how everything applied so um it's a bit of a mishmash color i think it turned out all right so um yeah if you would like to see how i created this look using the bad habit solstice palette then carry on watching Right guys, so this entire look, as you could see from the beginning, is made entirely from this Solstice palette. And first we're going to go into the colour Winter and we're just going to apply that all over our entire lid. Then we're going into the colour Spring and we're going to use that as a transition shade. And the next colour we are going into is Equinox and this time we're just going to focus that on the crease area and blend it out with this. I'm using the Eco Tools fluffy brush, um, it's like a smaller fluffier brush and I'm just blending that over the transition shade and then as I go further on I'm building up the colour and then I will build that up and I will bring it onto the outer corner of the eyes as well which we'll see shortly. There you go, that's me applying it just to the outer corner of the eyes and I just build up that colour until I'm happy with how it looks. It doesn't take a lot with these uh, colours though in this palette, it's amazing. And now we're going into the colour Basque, it's a gorgeous red shade and I'm taking this really really fluffy br brush you don't literally you don't need to touch these colors a lot as you've seen at the beginning of the video uh, so I've literally hardly touched it applied that over the top of the uh, color that I used previously and built up that red shade until I was completely happy with how it was blended out and obviously you know you do it on the other eye And now we're taking this NYX concealer and we're just going to cut a little crease, not all the way across, just sort of halfway. And now we're taking the colour Rays, which is this gorgeous gold shade, and we're applying that into the inner corner and bringing it part the way across over the concealer that you've applied already, uh, because I'm going to use more than one colour here and blend them all together, so it looks really, really nice. And the colour I'm going into is the colour Sol, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery orange shade. 
Um, it really, really, you know, obviously you can see how vibrant the colours are on camera. They're beautiful. So I'm packing that on and then I'm taking this little fluffy brush and I'm blending all of those colours together. The yellows, the golds, the oranges and the reds. Just blending them all out with that fluffy brush and it looks really, really nice when they're all blended together. Obviously doing that on the other eye. I just love how they blend. They blend really, really well together. And I'm taking a really fluffy brush and I'm just blending out of the red colour again just to make sure it's well blended. And we're going back into the colour Basque now and we're taking that under the lower lash line. Uh, not all the way across, just halfway and then just smoking that out. And now we're going back into that gorgeous soul colour and we're applying that from the inner corner and then out to join into the red colour that was uh, on the outer corner. And then I'm taking that fluffy brush again and just making sure everything is blended. Going in with my Soap and Glory Super Cat liner for the wings. And then we're going back into that Basque colour because I wanted to bring the red out below the, the, the eyeliner as well, as well as above it, so it just looked more like a finished look rather than like it just stopped. And now we're taking our NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and applying that to our waterline. And then we're going in with this orange glitter. It's just, it's just glitter <laughs> because, you know, it, it's me. A little bit of glitter glue and then I'm applying that glitter to the inner corner because I was just like why not and now we're taking the jelly pong pong mascara and applying that to our lashes after we've filled them of course And then we're taking these pinky goat lashes, pinky goat lashes, and applying those too. And we're finishing it off with some ruby blush. And then for, for our lips, we're going to the Jeffree Star Pumpkin Pie lipstick. I love this lipstick, the colour is so good, and it's perfect with this look. And now we're going into the Soap Highlight palette and the shade that you can see that I'm showing you to highlight our uh, cheekbones. And then we're going into this other shade. I don't think these have shades, but um, yeah, I was highlighting the nose and the cupid's bow, all that good stuff. What I would like to know though, guys, is was this too fast for you to follow? Should I slow the video down itself? Please let me know in the comments below, that'd be awesome. And that's the finished look guys, I really really hope you enjoyed it. I loved playing with this palette, I love the fact that Lainey sent it to me. Uh, if you don't know, there is an unboxing in a previous video where um, a lovely YouTuber friend of mine sent me a load of palettes to have a play with and try out. Um, and I am super appreciative of that and I absolutely love these palettes. I, the two bad habits I think are my favourite out of all of the palettes that she sent me. Uh, just because the colours are just amazing and the pigments, you know, you, well you can see. It's just brilliant. So yeah, thank you again Lainey. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video then give me a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the bad habit palettes if you do have them. Uh, if you don't, I will link in the description box below where you can get those. Uh, and so if you want to get them for yourself, you know, it's just down there. If you have any questions or any comments, just let me know in the comments below, as I always say. Uh, but that is it for this time, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!